I'm Dr. Eric Desmond, and today we're going to talk about antioxidants. Now, in the past, we've talked about building a great skincare regimen, and the foundation of your skincare regimen should be sunscreen. Sunscreen, sunscreen, sunscreen. That's the most important thing to protect and preserve your skin. And you want to use a tinted sunscreen because that is going to help protect against both UVA and UVB radiation. Now, you don't want to use a sunscreen that's got octanoxate in it. Now, ox octanoxate is a chemical that gives that sunscreen smell that you smell at the beach and everything. That stuff works pretty good as a blocker of UV radiation, but it's also bad for the environment. So you're better off looking for sunscreens that don't have octanoxate in it. Now, after you've got your foundation of sunscreen, the next most important thing that you can do for a great skincare regimen is use retinoids. Retinoids are really transformative. The retinoid chemicals affect three different cell types. Fibroblasts, it affects keratinocytes, and it also affects sebaceous cells. And the effects that the retinoids have is that it increases collagen production, it helps get rid of fine lines and wrinkles, and retinoids also decrease the sebum production, oiliness, which is why they're so effective in helping to treat acne. Now, once you start using sunscreen and retinoids, you can use other products to enhance the effects of your retinoids. So in the past, we talked about hydroxy acids as well. They help the retinoids penetrate the skin better, and they help exfoliate and get rid of some of the dead skin cells at the surface to enhance the benefits of the retinoids. Now today we're going to talk about antioxidants also as helpers of retinoids. Now antioxidants are basically chemicals that inhibit oxidation of other molecules. Oxidation is a chemical process where an oxygen molecule has lost one of its electrons or has too many electrons and is looking to have a chemical reaction with other molecules and that chemical reaction is called oxidation. That oxygen molecule, when it's looking for one of these other chemicals, is called a reactive oxygen species. And when it combines, that's what causes damage to your DNA, it causes damage to your cells. And so antioxidants help block and protect you from these things. Now, there are four different types of antioxidants that we're gonna talk about today vitamin C, vitamin E, ferulic acid, and green tea. So vitamin C is otherwise known as L-ascorbic acid. It's a liquid chemical and it works in a liquid format. So in your body, inside the cells is liquid. That's where vitamin C has its effects. So vitamin C works inside the cells. Your cells have a cell membrane, which is made up of phospholipid, and this vitamin C works inside your cells as an antioxidant. Vitamin C also has a ton of other important effects as well. It helps produce collagen and helps with collagen synthesis, and it's a cofactor for other chemical reactions inside your cell. And in addition to that, vitamin C, because it is anti-inflammatory, antioxidant, it actually has some SPF strength in and of itself, and it's got about an SPF of four as a protector from ultraviolet radiation. Now, vitamin C is frequently chemically altered in skincare products to be turned into the ester form of vitamin C. And the reason that's important is the ester form of vitamin C has the basic L-ascorbic acid combined with a little fatty portion, and that combination helps get the vitamin C into the cell. And once in the cell, the fatty portion it's broken off and then the vitamin C is in the liquid form and it's much more effective. And in fact, the ester form of vitamin C is about three times as potent as just straight up acid form of vitamin C. So most formulations that you'll see for skincare products have an ester form of vitamin C. Now to make your vitamin C products last longer and be more effective, you wanna store them in a cool, dark place because the sunlight can create reactive oxygen species within the liquid that the vitamin C is in. It will react with those and it'll actually turn the liquid kind of yellowish and brown. 
So if your vitamin C has a tint to it, it means it's less effective and less potent than it was when you originally bought it. The next antioxidant that we're going to talk about is vitamin E. Now vitamin E is a fat soluble vitamin and a fat soluble antioxidant. And vitamin E works at the cell surface, that phospholipid membrane, because it's fat soluble and it has its antioxidant effects on the surface of the cell. So vitamin E works in the surface of the cell, vitamin C works inside the cell. The third type of antioxidant that you'll frequently see used in formulations is ferulic acid. Now ferulic acid is a plant-derived antioxidant and it also has antibacterial properties, it has anti-inflammatory properties, and it helps stabilize vitamin C. So it's really used for multiple purposes in skincare preparations, but mostly used to help stabilize vitamin C, help stabilize vitamin E, and make them more effective. The final antioxidant that people are familiar with that's very potent and very effective is green tea. Now, green tea has multiple chemicals inside it that are antioxidants, but the most potent one and the most effective one is a chemical called EGCG. Now, EGCG is a chemical that's very large. It is about 100 times as potent as vitamin C, 25 times as potent as vitamin E in protecting cells from DNA damage as an antioxidant and really being super effective. The challenge with EGCG is because it's such a large molecule, it's very unstable and it doesn't penetrate well into the skin. So it's really hard to find good formulations of, of green tea. You need at least a 3% green tea concentration to get any kind of penetration. And the products tend to be unstable and break down. Frequently they need to be refrigerated actually in order to help stabilize them. The best way to get the effects of green tea drink four cups of green tea a day at least, and you'll get some of the antioxidant effects of green tea. Now here at the Virginia Center for Plastic Surgery, we've got our skin vitamin serum as our antioxidant product for you. And our skin vitamin serum has about 30% L-ascorbic acid. It also has some vitamin E. It has some ferulic acid in it. Our vitamin C is in the ester form, so it penetrates well. and it has nice, smooth, silky texture to it, and it's really fantastic. It doesn't have any alcohol or glycol, which can be irritating to the skin. A lot of formulations that you'll find out there do have some alcohol in them. We don't have any of that. It's a wonderful product as an adjunct to using your, your sunscreen and as an adjunct to using your retinoids. So keep your foundation strong and then add in your vitamin C with your skin vitamin serum. I hope you found this video helpful today. If you have, please share it with a friend. Please like our video. And if you have any questions, you can visit our website at vcps.com or give us a call at 703-924-3144. Thanks a lot and have a great day.